Welcome back to the training in Automotive on M2, 2, 1. In this video, we're going to still working with the graphic display for the Modicon M2, 2, 1. But we're only going to focus on the control table, which is one of the pages that we have, one of the template pages that we have inside the software to visualize data. Okay, so let's go to the presentation. This control table is similar to the monitor table that we have seen, but instead of showing the name of the variable that you want and the value, we can specify between if the value of the variable is true, we can indicate one text, and if it's false, we can indicate another text. So if we continue with this part of the presentation, we can see this clearly. So it uses Boolean variables, okay, compared with the monitor that we can see in the past. The control table show you only Boolean variables and depend on the state, if it's false, it shows one text and if it's true, it shows another text. So what you can see here is the configuration, for example, these two variables for the M120. If it's true, it shows variable one in true and if it's false, it shows variable one in false. You can edit is this text if you want and you also have the possibility depend on the variable the right access okay and this is the visualization okay if the variable has the right you can see in the bottom if you want to go to true or to false okay and this is the visualization you don't see the complete text you just need to see the value the actual value so how we can work on this one similar as we have done in the past we need to add this page control table so display operation operator interface add page control table okay and then when we have this on the elements we need to add a variable and then the two different texts for the status of the variable as you can see over here and once we have configured the variable and the text we need to add this configuration into the elements okay in order to visualize on the display and the last thing that we need to check is if we have the possibility to write into those variables the last thing that we need to do is to also check the name of the page okay and also the title when we click on the page and this is the visualization how it looks like okay now what we're going to do okay is to create a control table okay in your case you can create three control tables in my case probably going to do something only one to visualize the inputs the outputs and the configuration from the alarms that we have already done so the idea of this um, control table in this case is to visualize the status of the ios of the plc to easily identify what is going on so we can continue this this is the idea to add three control tables okay one for the inputs another for the outputs and the third one for the um, for the alarms the same that we have done in the past so let's go to the application okay this is the application I still connected with the PLC I'm going to uh, log out just open this in the other window okay just hold a minute perfect so display we have already configured all these menus now I'm going to add a new one add page control table add it so this one I'm going to specify the title inputs Okay, I'm going to change this name to um, indication inputs. Inputs. The elements would be the mm -hmm, percentage I00. Zero, zero. Okay, this one. I didn't want to do this, but okay. Um, start on. start off okay 
I just put this just to give more information to to the operator okay but you just put a star off on on add then you can add the other values that you have for the input I'm just going to add only one just to give you an idea I'm going to add the other page control table for the outputs so rename indication output okay this one output element q zero zero true uh can I specify motor on q zero dot zero motor on motor off add and i believe here yes i add it you also have the possibility to write over here in case you want to directly write it now i'm going to use q zero dot two this one is the alarm on this one alarm off you have already specified this output for for this purpose check the previous videos and on off add perfect and the last one control monitor for the uh conf al2 this one is config alarm 2 okay as you can see here in the left part they have different views for different pages template here i'm going to use the percentage s one to two to uh, jump to alarm activated this one disactivated alarm not activated Activated. Now we're going to use the S123 in order to um, alarm backlight in red. Alarm normal. Add and here I'm going to specify to write the access so we can modify this. So we have already configured these three menus. Now it's time to call them. Okay, on this one that we have already created, which is the add pages, the menu template. Okay, this one is a menu template. Now we're going to add those. So um, this one should be um, a status input. I'm going to specify indication inputs. Add it. A status output. Indication output and the last one config alarm two. Okay, so we have already configured three different um, control tables. Now let's download this into the controller, okay, and see the behavior that we have. So I'm going to say this login into the controller. PC to controller, overwrite, okay, okay, it's on. Now, if you have this, you just directly remove the power supply. We just the cable connected again. Wait for this to start. Okay, so you can see here that I have the difference views. Okay, I have the status output. Okay, and I believe the F2 I had configured before is to change the status. Okay. 
okay there is an alarm activated um, so if we go back you can change over here the configuration of the alarms okay jump to alarm is not no activated alarm backlight is normal so here we can use these two to off or on so this one is be on you can see some red light or something over there I'm going to turn it off you can see so this one is just like a, to change the state of the variable that you have already configured okay and I believe this is it and if we go back to the menu uh, alarms we can acknowledge this there we go alarm is gone so we have seen on on this one how you can use the control just forget the name the page control uh, in order to visualize boolean variables but using text so depending on the status of the boolean variable i can see different texts and i have also a possibility to change the status of the variable using the first two keys okay so this is it for the control control table okay thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one